Good day everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating a simple quiz game program using Meetup Inventor. Okay, so the primary objective of this one is to make a list as the correct answers, the choices, and the questions. We'll be having two types of questions. One is a string. The other one is guessing the image. Okay, so in my UI, I have here two labels, one for the score, second is for the question, and I have here an image which will load the guessing picture question. Then I have here a horizontal handler for the buttons. We have here three. This will be our choices. Then I have here a next button. So whenever a user finished a question, he will be able to redirect it on the second question and so on. I also have here an exit button. So whenever the user is done with the quiz, he will be able to exit the program. Okay, so for the UI, the exit button is invisible. So here are the codes for this simple quiz game. Okay, so we have here initializations of variables. One is for the variable questions where it carries a list of the questions. Second is for the guessing image quiz, which holds the images. Next, we have variable choices, which holds the choices for each question. We have variable answers, which holds the correct answer for each quiz. We also have here a global variable index for the questions. And we have a global variable for score, which is set to zero, same as with the index. Okay. In my questions, I have five lists. Same as with the image questions, same as with the choices. I have five sets of lists in the choices list. Same as with the answer. I have here five questions. And as you can see, the fifth list or the fifth in the list is blank. Blank. blank and blank why the purpose of this blanks is to tell the program that if the index is equal to five then there will no there will be no more uh, items to be shown in the questions also in the image quest the choices and the answer okay let's focus first and compare the values in the variable question and the variable image quest. Okay, as you can see here, the first two items in my image quest is blank, while the third and the fourth has value. Why? It is because I intended to run a program wherein the quiz one and two is in stream while my third and fourth quiz will run the guessing game quiz. Okay. Then we have here the choices. As we have seen in the design of this program, we have three buttons. These are the choices. That is why I made three listings for each list for the choices. 
Okay, so and here are my correct answers in each quiz. Okay, now for this code, I want to tell the program that if the screen one is initialized, the global index should be set to the current index plus one. Why? Because in Meetup Inventor, okay, in this list, this item is index one. Okay, unlike in other programs, specifically text, text programs, index or the first list will be index zero. Okay, again, I repeat, this first in the list is in index one. That is why I want to tell the program that if the screen is loaded or initialized, it shall load the index one. Okay, then I have here a procedure which I named load questions. Okay, this will be a condition that the program will analyze to process on loading each question. Okay, so I have here the following codes for loading the question. Telling the program a condition that if our question index is less than the length of the global questions wherein the length of the global questions or the length of the list of the global questions is five let's check one two three four and five okay so in this condition, I want to tell the program that if until the global index is set to four, then the program shall set the text of the label question. Here is the label question. I want it to load the text into the first question if the index is one. The second question, if the index is two. The third question, if the index is three. And the fourth question, if the index is five. Okay, I have here a nested condition inside that condition. Telling the program that if global image questions is not blank then the index the current index okay let's see here okay here is my image quest list i told the program that if it not, if it is not blank if it has this value which is in index three then Okay, then the program shall set the image question picture into that current index quest, wherein it should be number three, telling the program that it shall load the OIP.jpg or the JPEG. Okay, until it reach question number four because we have here in my image quest third and fourth index has value next then if it is the program shall set the visibility of image quest to true and set the label question visibility to false to visualize in the user interface if that condition happens this label here will disappear while this image here will appear okay else if this condition is not met then 
the image quest visibility should be false and the label question visibility should be true. Next, still belong in the first condition, in the mother if condition, that we have here the choices, namely A, B, and C. Telling the program that the text of the choice A should be the first item in my choices here here and here okay but there is another condition here in set a only the index list one should be retrieved from the list set b should have the second index in the list set c should have the third index in the list okay let's go back in the list meaning the program shall retrieve this item okay setting this as a setting this as b setting this as c Okay. Okay. Else. Okay. The image quest visibility shall be false. And the next visibility or the next button visibility shall be false. Okay. So we have here. Okay. Assuming that question number one or quiz one is done, then the user shall be able to click on the next button. And the program should do the following conditions. Okay, so when the next button is clicked, the global index shall add plus one to run the second question. To run the second items in the choices, to run the second correct answer in global variable answer. Okay, but I have here a condition that if the global index value is equal to 5, wherein I have shown earlier that it is blank already, then the program should set the label score text to total score and show the user his final score. Then, the program should set the visibility of the horizontal arrangement into false. Then, the exit button shall be shown. Okay. Now, let's have here the settings of codes or the codes for select the correct answer or telling the user if his answer or his selected answer is correct okay so when a choice is clicked then the procedure answer should be called wherein in the procedure answer we have here a condition that okay Whatever is in the current index okay, of that item shall be put in letter A. Then, okay, let me show you first. For example, the current quiz is quiz number two. Okay, then this choice shall be shown in letter A. This choice shall be shown in letter B, and this one shall be shown in letter C. Okay. Then, oops, I'm sorry. I should, okay, this should be the proper list. 
to be explored by the program. Telling the program here that, okay, if the user have selected this as correct answer, which is in letter A, okay, then the score shall be added by 1. And the label or the text of the label score shall, shall be updated to score, then the current score. Then the same procedure is set to choice letter B, calling answer to procedure, and choice letter C, calling answer 3 procedure. Then, okay, after that, let's go back here in this code. So, when the program have analyzed that the index is equal to 5, we have here a condition that the exit button will be visible. And once the user have clicked the exit button, then the application will be closed. Let's run the program. Let's just wait for the emulator to load. Wait for a while. Okay. Let's see if our objective was met. Let's wait for the screen to initialize. Okay. So, as we have told the program, it shall initialize the screen by loading the first question. Okay. So, for this one, the correct answer is IT updab 4. The score label was updated, added by 1. Click next for the second question. The correct answer here is fundamentals of mobile technology. But let us try to click on the incorrect answer. IT updab 4, the score was not updated. Let's click on next. We have here a logo of ISU. Let's click on ISU. The score was updated and added by one. Let's click next. Okay. So we have here a background. Click on the background. The score is updated. Okay. Then, okay, I'm sorry. I should have set the next text into done okay then once that button was clicked the final score or the total score will be shown and an exit button will be shown and once the user have clicked on the exit button the application will be closed okay so thank you for watching and god bless everyone